Good morning, good morning. I hope you're doing well this morning. Um, have you ever lost anything? Have you ever misplaced something? Uh, couldn't find it? I remember uh, I was I w done some work when I, I was uh, just a kid and I made five dollars, which was a lot for me. I was, <laughs> it was, it was a, a big deal. And so I was cleaning some stuff up and, and I misplaced the five dollars that I made. And I turned my room upside down, looked all over the house, nothing. I couldn't find anything. Finally, I remember I threw something away. And wouldn't you know it, I had to go and dig through the trash. that had already been taken out. I already had everything mixed with it, all the scraps and everything. And so I'm digging through the trash, digging through the filth. And what do I find? I find my $5. I clean it off, let it dry and I have that back. I want to read a, I want to read a parable uh, in Luke chapter 15. It's about uh, a lost sheep. In verse 4 it says, What man of you having a hundred sheep, if he loses one, doth not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the uh, which is lost until he finds it? And when he had found it, he laid it on his shoulders. Laid it on his shoulders now, rejoicing. And when he had cometh home, he called together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you likewise, Joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety-nine just persons which need no repentance. I want you to realize something here. That... And this is a story, but they were willing to leave the 99, willing to, to, to leave everything that was listening, everything that was going good, leave that to find that one lost sheep. And, and I can't help but think how, that's how God is. He, he's always looking for us. You know what that you know what he didn't complain about? He didn't complain about where the sheep was. He didn't complain about how dirty the sheep was, how filthy, how far he had to go, how how much he had to do to get it. He didn't. He just rejoiced. He was rejoicing over the fact that he had found what was lost. And that's what heaven does. The angels rejoice when one sinner comes home. So I want you to think today, you know. You're not too far gone. It doesn't matter how big the mess. It doesn't matter how, how far you ran. He doesn't care about that. All he wants to do is put you on his shoulders and say, I love you, and I'm so glad I found you. I'm so glad you turned to me. I'm so glad I, I have you now. It doesn't matter the muck and the mess and the, the filth and the sin. It doesn't matter about any of that. All that matters is that he has found you. I found that five dollars, and and that meant a lot to me because I had worked hard for it, and and it was valuable. Don't you realize how valuable you are? That that he would leave the ninety nine to come find you, find me. Oh, how precious is that? How valuable are we? That God would leave something that is already great, already working, to find the one that was lost. So I encourage you today, if you don't know God, hey, he's, he's looking. He, he's, he's waiting on you. He's waiting on you to, to make a decision. He loves you. He cares for you. I hope you have a great day, and God bless you.